I was in a relationship that was abusive for about 15 years. Uh, we were married for just about 12. And um, it was something that started fairly subtly. <clears throat> um, things like uh, name calling or that I wasn't smart or I didn't know the right things. I didn't act the right way, those kind of um, situations. And it progressed and at one point, uh, my, he's my ex-husband now, uh, had kicked me in the head because I didn't want to have sex with him. And uh, I left and took our kids at that point and went through some work with the two of us and got back together about a year and a half later because I believed that he loved me and that our children should be together with their father and that we should be a family as well and that he had changed. And things were good for a fair amount of time. He went back to being fairly verbally abusive and eventually emotionally abusive and occasionally physically abusive. And our relationship ended uh, the day that he decided that uh, I could not leave him. I had told him I was leaving. I didn't like the way he talked to me or treated me. And I didn't like the way my kids were starting to treat me. And uh, the day that our relationship ended, he stabbed me 12 times, and uh, that pretty much severed our ties. One of the things we find with abused women is they almost never overestimate their risk in terms of possibly being killed or reassaulted by a batterer, but they often underestimate their risk. And we, in fact, found in our study of intimate partner homicide in the States that almost half the women did not see the level of danger they were in before they were killed or almost killed by a, their batterer.